Hi, I'm Jeff Goldmere, GE's Fuel Guy. And today I want to talk to you about a topic that's on a lot of people's minds in the energy industry. You've heard a lot about hydrogen. You remember it? It sits at the top left of the periodic table. The most abundant element in the universe? Well, here on Earth, it's typically found with other elements. Hydrogen and oxygen form a very familiar substance. We all know it. It's water. And when hydrogen and carbon combine, we get hydrocarbons, which we think of as fuels. Remember me, fuel guy? The simplest hydrocarbon is methane. One carbon, four hydrogens. So the question I get asked all the time is, can hydrogen be used to produce power? The answer is yes. It's happening right now. There are many steel mills, refineries, and petrochemical plants that generate gases containing hydrogen. This excess gas can be burned in a gas turbine to make power, and GE has been providing gas turbines for these industrial power applications for decades. The good news? Displacing a hydrocarbon fuel with hydrogen can lead to reduced CO2 emissions. Yes! But today, we're all focused on the future. With increased interest in renewable energy, hydrogen and its carbon-free status make it a very attractive energy source. And because we can already burn it in gas turbines, we may be able to use some portion of the existing power infrastructure in our hydrogen future. Another piece of good news, since G has been developing fuel-flexible gas turbine combustion technology for a while now, we understand the benefits and the challenges of using hydrogen as a power generation fuel. For example, hydrogen's volumetric energy density is about one-third that of natural gas, or methane. So what does that mean? Let's talk about a real example. Say you need to eat 1,000 calories at lunch. Now you could get those calories from my favorite, a juicy cheeseburger. Or you could have the healthier option and eat lots and lots and lots of salad. What does this mean in practical terms? Again, remember, hydrogen's volumetric energy density is about one-third that of natural gas. So we have to flow three times as much gas. So we have to adjust the fuel system to accommodate the increased flow. Hydrogen has other chemical properties that set it apart from other fuels. It burns much hotter and is much more reactive. In our state-of-the-art combustion lab, which you can see behind me, we're analyzing existing combustion systems and developing new ones for fuels with hydrogen. And what comes out of the lab? The DLN 2.6E combustion system, which has capability to burn fuel blends up to 50% hydrogen. And we've applied this combustion system to the 7HA and 9HA gas turbines. And remember, it's all part of G's commitment to exploring and developing a greener energy future. Want to learn more? Visit our hydrogen webpage today.